say it's been three weeks since my last confession. Uh, sorry, video. Uh, I'm sorry, but I've been away. Um, right, now, this one is something that all still life photographers need to know about. Uh, it's a little trick that we all use, uh, but it's very important. Okay, so let's get on with it. Now, there are occasions when it's necessary to know exactly where your um, subject is in relation to the background. So these next, oh, well, I'll tell you why. Um, because you might want to cut a hole in the background that's exactly the same size as the product but, so you could put a light behind the background shining through or if uh, as is the case in these next two photographs where they're done with light painting um, one has to know exactly where to paint the light onto the background um, to get it just in the right place now there's a very easy way of doing this of finding out where it is um, and this is how we do it so by being in a dark room, and I'm sorry about the quality of the video, we shine a torch through the viewfinder. Now in the old days, of course, we'd open the back and shine it through uh, where the film used to be, but you can do it through the viewfinder very happily. Now this is what it gives. Uh, it's not very bright, of course, but it does give you enough to be able to trace round round it with a, a pencil uh, in allowing you either to cut through cut a hole out or light around it now that's very very useful with light painting so what basically we're doing is using our camera as a projector now um, there's another way of using a camera as a projector but i'll leave that for another tips and tricks now, I hope you enjoyed that. It uh, should help you a little bit. Don't forget about McCall.com and there's also Itchy Photo now, itchyphoto.com. Um, so that all this can help you a lot with photography, particularly still life, as I said. So, see you next time. Cheers.